I have to be still. Thanks, you're the best. Good luck. Uh-huh. <laughs> Kimito, you came. Oh, well, well. If it isn't Reiko's friend from school. So nice to see you again. I assume you've come here because you're concerned for my daughter. But as you can see, we're busy. So, I'm going to have to ask you to leave right away. Goodbye, sir. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, ma'am? Yes? I have something to say. The thing is... Ah! I am against this marriage! Can you tell you fool? Is that so? And so is your daughter! My daughter is happy to do her duty. Isn't that right, Lord? Tell your friend. She is nervous, but as a daughter of the Risugawa dynasty, she knows exactly how important this engagement is to our family legacy. This isn't what Reiko wants and you know it. She's only doing this because she's afraid! It makes no difference what the child wants. <laughs> family comes first. Even before true love, Reika was fully aware that this was a step she must take and that to marry into a great family is a noble calling. Her desire is not withstanding. This is her sole purpose in life. I know this is confusing. I wouldn't expect a mere commoner to understand. You're right. I've been at Seikind for a little over a month and I still don't understand your world. Not even a bit. Everything is different, from the clothes you wear to the food you eat. I did my best to explain what life is like for regular people, but it doesn't get through. Not really. Honestly, I'm not sure we'll ever understand each other. But, even so, all these girls, the members of the Commoners Club, they are my best friends! It's true. So what if we do things a little differently? So what if we come from different places? We've had so much fun, but now you're taking that away. You're tearing us apart! Stop, please! He feels this strongly? That's quite a story. But Reiko's made her decision. She's accepted her fate. What giant load of crap! I got... <gasps> when I got the same kind, I just wanted people to like me. And all I cared about was being popular. And now I realize just how shallow that was. I mean, who cares about how many friends you have? Life's not about getting everyone to think you're awesome. It's about finding the people you click with. I learned that from Kimito, from Karen, from Hakua, but most of all from Reiko. <gasps> I know it's not our place to barge into your house and tell you what to do with your own daughter. Even so, we're here! Because Reiko deserves to be around the people she loves! Please don't force her to marry him! We don't want to lose our friend! Please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. It's time for our guests to leave now. <laughs> Let go! <laughs> Unhands me! Kimito, do something, please! What can I do? Mother? <sighs> I am sorry, but I am leaving home for good. Reiko. I appreciate your sentiment, my darling, but do you even realize what you're saying? Of course I do! So sure of yourself. I only ask because I worry that perhaps you've forgotten the way things work. Only young ladies from prestigious families are given the honor of attending Seikai. If you walk away from your family name, my dear, they won't so much as let you in the front door. So if you want to run away from home, by all means, suit yourself. But you'll have nowhere to go. And you'll find yourself wandering the streets. Yeah, no, you won't! Come and live with me! 
To hell with family prestige! It's the commoner world! Those old rules and traditions are dead now! You wouldn't get to stay and say kind, and I can't offer the lifestyle you're used to. But, you know. Huh? Wow, this is wonderful. I'll have to convince my parents, but it'll work out. I swear, I'll do everything I can to make you happy. Yes, my answer is yes then. In sickness and in health, I shall be yours. Yeah, whatever. Dearest parents, thank you for everything. I would be nowhere without your help. Having heard the news of Reiko's strong inclinations, my son was understandably surprised. So he's returned to Stanford and has decided to officially withdraw the engagement. Ah, that is that. No hard feelings, but from our perspective, the matter is concluded. Well, dear, I don't know what to say. Reiko, as far as I'm concerned, you may marry whom you like. <gasps> Do you mean it? Thank you very much, Mother. <gasps> Mr. Kagurozaka. Uh, Ma'am? Be good to her. Look after her and cherish her forever. I do not have the words to tell you how much this means to Hold me. on. Forever? That's correct. Marriage is forever. <laughs> You did just propose to my lovely daughter, did you not? Uh, come and live with me! You need to stay and say kind, and I can't offer the lifestyle you're used to. But I'll have to convince you know. my parents, but it'll work out. I swear, I'll do everything I can to make you happy. I did just finish proposing to her daughter! Although you're both a bit on the young side, it's never too early to start planning your life together. Agreed! <laughs> Long last, I get to meet you! Just one thing? Yes, of course. What is it, child? Well, you see... I do hope you're not getting cold feet already. Because that would be a terrible shame, especially after all the wonderful things you've just said. Uh, is something wrong? Uh, wait, why would you let Reiko do this? What do you mean? I am broke as a joke! I'm a loser! You seemed confused. Let me explain. I've come to despise you in the deepest part of my soul. That is very much why I'd like you to become my son in law. Wait, that's not how hate works. You should avoid me. Mm, no, that simply wouldn't do. I'd love for you to be a part of my family, so that I can torment you with everything that I can muster. I do look forward to it very much. Welcome to the family, son. I don't want her to be my mommy. Hold on a second, lady. Objection? <laughs> We invoke our three-fourths majority in the Commoners Club to veto this marriage! That's right! It's perfectly obvious that isn't what Kagurazaka wants! But the matter is decided. No, it's not! You got some nerve! How dare you dodge my sucker punch! What am I supposed to do? Just stand there and let you kill me? I'm not gonna let you ever! That's why I'm taking you out, pervert! <laughs> Rico's my little sister, not yours! I never said she was, you big weirdo! <laughs> Time to die! Rico, can you stop him? 100 fun wedding ideas. I didn't know that commoners had such wonderfully engrossing literature. You have no cause to be reading that, you hear? We should confiscate it. <laughs> You've got back our house! <laughs> really? After everything I did to stop you from leaving? Obviously, I will come visit you whenever I can. <laughs> Your brother's a freaking psycho! Uh, Somi, please stop this at once. 